Hello, my YouTube subscribers. I just got my SNG Vapor Capone in, and uh, I want to see how this how this vapes. But first, I want to look at my sales sheet here. Well, I was supposed to get both of these at 15 milligrams, but uh, maybe I got some user error on the Nilla wafer, which says 10 milliliter here. They both say 10 mil 10 milligrams. Excuse me, not milliliter. 10 milligrams. They're both 10 milliliters. Um, I just got some uh, some small samples until uh, after Thanksgiving. This is just going to run me till Thanksgiving. But uh, you know, I've done a, a Nilla wafer review, and I thought that was really good. So I'm going to have some of that uh, for Thanksgiving to vape vape on. I got some Capone here, which is a new flavor. Um, it is rum dipped cigar, and I like some of the cigar flavors, not all. Like uh, Midnight Apple from Halo Purity was a good one. I'm gonna take a whiff of this right now. Mmm. It's got a really, really good rum flavor to it right now. Or smell, you know, the tone of uh, rum is 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 uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, that smells like a good uh, rum rum flavor. The tobacco flavor is pretty strong. Um, or the scent of tobacco is pretty strong. So I imagine this is going to be a, a fairly strong tobacco flavor. I'm not too sure. Now, the reason I went with a higher milligram per milliliter in nicotine is because I'm uh, going to be mixing it with some VG. I'm adding... Because I don't know the actual PG VG ratio, I'm guessing it's got to be around uh, 60 40 PG VG, um, but I'm not 100% sure. I need to contact SNG Vapor and see if they'll let me know. Um, so I'm adding another 20% uh, of the fluid. Uh, the after it's mixed, 20% of it is going to be added VG. Which I think from 60-40 is going to bring it to around 50-50%. And then it's going to knock the a 15 milligram per milliliter bottle of Capone down to right around 11 something. Almost 12 milligrams. So I think you know that's what I'm going to be doing. But first what I want to do is uh, get a vape of it on the Aga T2 here with the dual coils uh, just playing to see how, how it vapes just playing so let's see uh, the consistency here now it's been in my pocket since I got it so it's you know it came out pretty cold but uh, after putting it in my pocket it has warmed up significantly uh, you can see this is a really dark uh, fluid too it's, it's really dark and it uh, looks like I got tiny traces of fire and ice in there. I swear that cinnamon oil beats all hell. It sticks, man. It is really, really hard to get rid of in some cases. So, um, shit, I fucking water in here. You know what? Let me, let me get my situation set up a little bit better. And uh, I can't put all my fluid in that. Look at all that water. So, let me do a little cu cut here, and uh, let me fill this up better and get this s situated correctly. Okay, so I got this uh, cleaned out. The wicks are dry now. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of moisture in there. Look at that. I th some of that's from the cinnamon oil and the uh, SNG uh, fire and ice. Um, you know, I save all of these glass bottles now, so I got plenty of glass bottles. Um, Goo Gone is awesome. You just put some goo gun on uh, these bottles and the stickers will come right off. Especially the S&G ones because they, they're using like a, a paper front. Uh, Halo Purity, uh, all the other ones I think I threw away. I'm going to stop doing that though. Uh, but Halo Purity has like um, a polished sticker of some kind. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Um, I don't want to totally destroy my ratio. Get the wicks wet, and uh, show you some of the coloration of the fluid in the atomizer. 
and uh, how it should be vaping. This is going to be uh, S&G Vapors natural blend. And um, I don't expect it to perform as awesome as if it, there were a, a added vegetable glycerin in there. But uh, we'll see how it does. Um, now this battery it should be pretty fresh. Uh, you know, I just finished, char finished charging it. Um, I was going to use my little 18350 to uh, clean this all out, but it didn't, you know, it didn't have hardly any charge in it. So, um, uh, excuse me again. This, this is almost, almost brand new fresh battery. It's not hot off the charger, but it's not been used for just about anything. <coughs> A little dry. Let me, let me get another vape on that. Oh, okay. Um, then we're getting some uh, uh, sweet, sweet rum in there. Um, no, no, no. Hold on. I'm pretty sure the sweetness is coming from some tobacco, and th there's definitely a, a a tone of rum in there. Hold on. Oh, that is a really thick uh, cigar flavor. It's got kind of a a beady tobacco flavor to it. Oh, ho ho! Oh, that was a delicious pile of rum right there, and it's good rum too. Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of a sweet rum. It's kind of a fruity rum. Um, oh man, that was good. I want to get one more puff on this. And it's vaping nice. SNG Vapor vapes really nice. Um, you know, I'm not getting the big plumes of smoke. I will be getting later on when I add a little bit of veg vegetable glycerin. But I'm not diluting the flavor at, at all. Um, that's really good. Um, gosh, man, this is like a... SNG, man, really hit a good, good tone right here. It's got a nice... Uh, it's got a sweet... Uh, flavor, it just, you know, there's like this touch of sweetness that crushes my palate, and there's this uh, warm rum flavor, um, I'm, you know, I'm thinking like, uh, oh man, I'm trying to think of a rum that would be uh, really close to it, and uh, I just can't put my name on the label, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a really... Um, I almost want to say festive holiday rum because it's it's got a sweet flavor to it, and the tobacco flavor is really nice. Yeah, it's really really sweet, man. I got exactly what I was hoping for with this. You know, I like Midnight Apple from Halo Purity because it's got like a a, a thick. Uh, tobacco flavor that isn't overpowering with that touch of uh, um, of apple, that touch of sour green apple in there. And this, it, it has a different tobacco blend to it. Um, it's a good, it's a good tobacco flavor. Um, that taste of rum really just like exudes character. In, in this flavor, I'm I'm really really pleased with the the overall flavor of this right now. You know, it's got a really sweet overtone to it. It's sweet, and it's not like a gosh, how can I, it's kind of a sugary candy sweetness. So it's not. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's any type of vegetable glycerin. Maybe it is, but it's it's a good. I, I, I like that sweetness because it kind of tones down like the, the harshness of the tobacco. Really, really pleased with this right now. It's almost like a butter rum. So, yeah, 
I'm trying to describe this flavor to you, man. It's really, really good. It really is. I'm absolutely surprised. I'm totally, totally pleased with this flavor right now. Capone from S&G Vapor. Fantastic. To really surprised. I'm really surprised. It doesn't have a really strong uh, cigar flavor to it. Um, there, there's a, a good. I don't want to say good because I'm not, you know, I'm not a huge fan of tobacco flavors, but I still got that. I like to taste tobacco flavor once in a while, but it's got a nice, uh, strong tobacco flavor that's just not overpowering. You know, I've had some cigar flavors where the tobacco tobacco flavor is just, just wretched strong, and uh, it, the tobacco flavor isn't overpowering. And then the rum flavor really does a number on Capone. I'm going to enjoy vaping this during Thanksgiving uh, around my family. Uh, you know, I'm sure there will be beer around it, and I really think this is going to be uh, a flavor that is a bar-friendly flavor. If you like to drink and, and smoke, uh, this, is a, this is a vapor flavor that I would say is right up there. Um, you get that nice rum flavor. You know, it's sweet. It's kind of a butter rum flavor. And, uh, pow. I, I, it was just, like, awesome in my mouth. It was really, really good. Um, it's a dark, it's a dark liquid. Uh, in other videos, I've explained, you know, I'm not too fanatic about dark liquids. They tend to caramelize more on the coils. Um, I feel they degrade the life of the coils more because of the caramelization. Um, but uh, I'm not going to let it stress me out. It's a really good flavor. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know what else I can say about this. Um, I would suggest getting this flavor. This is a, this is a flavor I would recommend, especially if you like to drink and vape, um, drink and smoke, um, you know, and you want to. You want to vape while you're drinking. I think this is going to go really well with a nice hopsy uh, mint flavored ale. Um, I think this is. I think this would go great with a Guinness. <laughs> I really do. A nice dark, rich beer. I think this this vape would would really uh, bring out the the flavors of the alcohol. It's such a such a contrast, and yet it seems just so right. Um, Capone by S&G Highly recommend it right now uh, I'm going to take one more vape on this though I could vape this All day oh, Definitely going to get more of this Now I've done quite a few S&G vapor reviews and I really, really love S&G Vapor products. They're local to me. Um, huge fan of S&G Vapor. So I've done a lot. Uh, but uh, I want to broaden the scope of where I'm looking uh, also. So while I do like S&G, I plan on looking at other uh, Vapor, uh, you know, e-liquid producers in the next, the next videos. Um, for me, S&G is just like, now it's local, it's a go-to place. Um, I love their flavors. I really like their mix, uh, you know, straight out of the bottle. It vapes really well. But there's uh, other places you, the viewer, have recommended to me. And I'm, gonna I'm checking those out. I'm looking at different flavors that I want to try, something new, uh, something fresh. So uh, look forward to that Excuse me. <laughs> in the next in the next videos. If you like this uh, video, go ahead and leave a like, uh, leave me a comment. I do intend to or try to respond to all of my comments, uh, all of my commenters at least once. Um, I don't, you know, this Google Plus um, merging of YouTube is, is really screwed up, I think. I'm not a big fan of it, but uh, what can I do? Um, so that also causes me to miss because I don't always see the update of when someone's commented on one of my videos. But I try. I do try. Um, if you haven't clicked subscribe, go ahead and click subscribe. 
and I'll be doing more reviews in the future, uh, modifications uh, maybe, mod reviews, and other product reviews also. Uh, until next video, bye.